Hello and welcome to the Spring 2020 Ceremony for the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. I'm Ed Kelly, Dean of the College. I really wish we could all be present together, but I'm pleased you're a part of this event to honor our outstanding graduates. A little bit about what's ahead over the next few minutes. We'll hear some comments from this year's outstanding senior at Gaylord College, Meredith Rasnick. There will also be a short address from one of our distinguished alumni, Katie Kuntz. I will share some of my thoughts and well wishes for all of you graduates, then the graduates will be recognized. As for me, I'm inside Studio A in Gaylord Hall, the home of our award-winning broadcasts OU Nightly and Game Day U. I know more than a few of our graduates spent plenty of time in this spot preparing for careers in the world of broadcasting. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker and overall outstanding senior, Meredith Rasnick. Meredith was born and raised right here in Norman and is graduating this year after majoring in public relations. She's the chair of the Gaylord Ambassadors, is a member of the university's Crimson Club, and has served on the lead team with the OU Office of Leadership and Volunteerism. Meredith has had two internships while at OU, including one last summer at the Smithsonian Institution's Museum of American History. I'm pleased to present this year's outstanding senior, Meredith Rasnick. Good evening, everyone. Today is the day. Today is the day we are graduating with a degree from the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication, a place that I think I can easily say we all love dearly and will miss so much. While I know this is not the venue or the way that we anticipated celebrating today, our graduation is still a huge accomplishment and so worthy of celebration. Class of 2020, we are accomplishing a huge milestone, graduating from the University of Oklahoma. If you haven't yet, let that sink in for just a second. We are joining an incredible legacy of OU graduates and a network of outstanding alumni from Gaylord College. Today is the day we have worked toward, dreamed about, stressed over, and maybe shed a few tears for. Students across our five major areas have spent many hours in the creative lab, perfectly aligning what feels like a million text boxes. We've pitched campaigns, brainstormed story ideas, only to change the whole plot at the last minute, written novels, edited video clips to sync perfectly with the cut of music, and planned detailed shoots. If you're anything like me, you're probably wondering how this day has arrived so suddenly. Weren't we just walking into Gaylord Hall for the first time, eyes wide in anticipation of what the next four or five years would hold? Now it has come and gone, and we have the incredible opportunity to take what we have learned here and carry it into our next chapter. When I reflect on the last four years here, it is hard to put my feelings of gratitude into words. I'm incredibly grateful for the role that Gaylord College has played in my college experience. And many of you can probably attest that anytime anyone mentions Gaylord, I light up and can't contain my excitement for the people and place that have come to mean so much to me. And as I've talked with many of you throughout the semester and in these last few weeks, I feel confident in saying that you all feel the same way. How incredibly lucky are we to not have only walked these halls, but to have truly joined a family. There's no other place on this campus like Gaylord College. When I think about what makes Gaylord different, the faces of classmates who have become dear friends and faculty and staff members who have become mentors and my biggest cheerleaders all come to mind. And that is what makes Gaylord Gaylord. The fact that our courses and professors and classmates have become so much more than just school. We've been able to bring dreams to life and accomplish work that we would have never known we were capable of without the encouragement and support of those around us. You have likely heard the saying around here that we are a college of storytellers. It's true. No matter your major or the platform you use, each and every Gaylord student tells a story every day. And we all have our own stories to tell because of Gaylord and the faculty and staff and fellow students who have influenced each one of us. Graduates, as we leave this ceremony today, we will all walk forward into the next chapter of our lives, proclaiming the title of Gaylord College alumnus. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I urge you to consider the positive impact our experience in Gaylord College has had upon us throughout our time here. We have been given the incredible privilege and gift of walking these halls, and I hope that you will continue representing the name of Gaylord College with excellence, gratitude, and a fondness for the experiences we have earned and shared. 
we are well equipped and our time to step forward and make a difference is now. As we embark on our next endeavor, I hope we remember the foundation that has been laid for us here at Gaylord. And I hope that we will all hold tight to the Sooner and Gaylord spirit wherever we go next. Congratulations and best wishes to each of you. Thank you for letting me represent you. And as always, Boomer Sooner. Thank you, Meredith. The Journalism and Mass Communication program at OU has more than 9,000 living alumni. Representing them is JMAC, our Alumni Association. Katie Kuntz is president of JMAC and a Gaylord graduate who majored in public relations. She's an experienced marketer with a background in web-related issues, marketing, and events. For the past five years, she has served as OU's web manager in marketing and communication. We're fortunate to have Katie's leadership at OU and in Gaylord College. I'm pleased to present the president of the JMAC Alumni Association, Katie Kuntz. Hi, my name is Katie Kuntz, and I have the honor of serving as the president of the JMAC Alumni Association. On behalf of JMAC, I congratulate you on this significant milestone. Let me be the first to welcome you to the ranks of the alumni of the Gaylord College. You join a group that is more than 10,000 strong and growing. Years of dedication, study, and hard work have culminated, and now the world awaits you. This is your opportunity to take what you have learned and apply it to the challenges of the business world. And while challenges do await you, especially in these uncertain times, it is good to know that you are well prepared to meet them because of the education you have received at the Gaylord College and the University of Oklahoma. Keep in mind that your education is ongoing and you will have many more opportunities for learning. As with your student experience, the same will hold true for your alumni experience. The more involved you become, the more rewards you will receive in experiences, contacts, and knowledge. As you begin your professional journey, I challenge each of you to strive for success. Visualize your dreams and achieve them. But I also challenge you to remember your heritage and tradition and always to be a supporter of your college, university, and the students who will follow in your footsteps. Also, never forget, we are your alumni family. We are still here, just like we have been during your collegiate years and will remain supportive throughout your professional career. I encourage all of you to join and be involved in JMAC to continue to grow relationships with your fellow Gaylord alumni and to support future Gaylord alumni. I am so honored to welcome you as a peer and an alumni, and I congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you, Katie. And congrats again to Meredith Rasnick for her selection as overall outstanding senior in Gaylord College. Every year, we also select outstanding graduates in each of our five majors or areas of study. This year's outstanding graduates in each major are Mason Marshall in advertising, Chris Oven in creative media production, Addison Cleaver in journalism, Cindy Halleck in professional writing, and Janky Patel in public relations. As for me, I switch places on you. I'm now inside Lindsay and Asp, our integrated agency on the second floor of Gaylord Hall. Some of you across the college spent some of your time at OU working here in the agency to get the skills and training to prepare you for careers in the world of media and strategic communication. That's the world some of you will live in. Some of you, though, will do other things with your OU degree. Be an entrepreneur, start your own business, work in or even run a nonprofit organization, go to law school or earn an MBA. But whatever each of you do with your careers, you're going to do it in an era in which you and your peers are going to own the 21st century and nothing short of it. Don't believe me? Well, do the math. Many of you will work until the years 2060 or 2070 or beyond. That's a long stretch in the heart of the century. What happens in our country, in this world, will be your doing, your creation. To me, that's really exciting, and I hope it is for you. And there are a bunch of you. Your generation, Generation Z, is now the largest demographic in the country. As one of your elders, I have utmost faith in your generation. I've been fortunate to interact with many of you at Gaylord College during your time with us, and I'm impressed today as I've ever been. Talks or full-fledged speeches at graduation time are a dime a dozen. Many of them are forgotten and forgotten quickly, and let's face it, that's okay. Few of them really stand the test of time. One which has is a commencement address made by Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple. 
He made it 15 years ago at graduation at Stanford University in 2005, not long after he was diagnosed with cancer. He pointed out the obvious. Thank you. Your time is limited, he said, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinion drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Wise words now at graduation, and they will be even wiser in the future. So, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Gaylord College, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you for your achievement in completing your degrees. And I wish you the best of luck in all of your endeavors. Now, I present the Spring 2020 graduates of Gaylord College.